the time, hallelujah, is drawing near. Hallelujah. We can see that, hallelujah, that you are soon to come, hallelujah. We can see that Torah being fulfilled right before our very eyes. If you get in the Word, hallelujah, you can see that Torah being fulfilled right before our very eyes. Oh, you We can see all the evil and the meanness, hallelujah, is creeping up more and more upon the earth, hallelujah. How more hate, hallelujah, creeping up more and more. How more of the, the, the testament things are creeping up more and more upon the earth. Everything that, hallelujah, that you hate, hallelujah, people are grasping to it, hallelujah. They holding on to it, hallelujah. They being encountered with more and more evil and wickedness, Yahuwah. And I cry today, Yahuwah, oh, that you guard your peoples. Oh, guard your people and help your people to guard you more and more. Hallelujah. Oh, help us, Yahuwah. Help us, hallelujah, run, hallelujah, to the safety, hallelujah. You are our safety zone. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. Help us to hold on to you, hallelujah. Help us not to want to hold on to husband, hallelujah. Help the husband not to want to hold on to the wife, the hallelujah, the mother, the children, hallelujah. But help us to hold on. Hallelujah. 
can't be your children, friend. Even if they get grown, hallelujah, you still can't be their friend. Hallelujah. You still got to stand up against the even wicked ways. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Yahushua. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I hear a lot of people say if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. But I say, if you don't stand for your hood, you'll fall for anything. Amen. Hallelujah! You'll be caught up in anything. Oh, you. Oh, we don't stand for you. If we don't stand and obey Torah, we'll fall for anything. Hallelujah! Oh, you. I thank you. And I praise you this hour. Thank you for the healing. Hallelujah that you're doing on Chief Apostle Ghost and Body. Thank you and praise you for the destroying looks. Hallelujah for the down here to strong hold of the child to come. Hallelujah. And we too are hallelujah. But I thank you, Yahuwah Honesty, for your man at Elohim. Asking you to continue to build him up where he's been torn down. Hallelujah. Continue to make him old. Hallelujah, continue to give the strength to stand. Hallelujah, I'm Torah. Oh, Yahuwah. I know a lot of people can't stand and wouldn't be able to go through the things that he had faced and went through. But I know that it was you, hallelujah, that took them through. Hallelujah. And brought him out and bringing them out. Nobody but you, Yahushua, I'm going to say. Oh, hallelujah. I ask you to touch mother, hallelujah, my mother, Kaliba Fick. Hallelujah, mother, Kaliba Fick, continue to touch her, strengthen her, Yahuwah. Yes. Oh, you strengthen her, you give her a mind to want to serve you, and you own it. Give her the strength to stand against the wild, hallelujah. and the tricks, and the trap of Satan, hallelujah, and his employees. Oh, Yahuwah. Oh, Yahuwah, give her strength to stand. And he lasts an evil and wicked day. Because we are in him. And Satan don't care who he uses and what he uses. Long as he can get into something. Oh, you're going to give her the strength to overcome the evil in your name. Asking you, your whole hallelujah, touch hand and mind. Stir her mind up in pitiness in your name, your Break and destroy the yokes off of her life. Hallelujah, well, hallelujah to receive you, Yahuwah. Yes. Oh, we ask that you to save all our children. Break and destroy the yokes off of them and pull down the stronghold off of daylight. Hallelujah. Oh, break and destroy the yokes off our sisters and brothers, nieces and nephews, cousins and aunts and uncles, your people as a whole. Save them, Yahuwah. Save every soul. Give them a mind to come unto you. Wholeheartedly, hallelujah. Because we can see in Torah where some of them serve you half hearted. But we got to serve you wholeheartedly. Yeah. Hallelujah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. That's the you to touch this old lunk of clay here, Yahuwah. Oh, touch this old lunk of clay. Break and destroy every no block of my life. Put it out there with stronghold in the name of Yahuwah. Oh, rebuke every device that come out of me. And your name to help me, hallelujah, yes. to stand. Yeah. Hallelujah, stand on Torah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, help me to decrease yes. that you may increase more in your name, your Lord. Asking you to touch the fuels that are viewing us. Break and destroy the yokes off of their lives. Pull down every stronghold off of their lives. Those that are filled with the rock, Hakadash. I'm asking you to keep up in your name, your Lord. Oh, you keep them, hallelujah, and you move from Those that do not know you in the part that they sin, I pray that you would give them a mind, hallelujah, to surrender, to give up the cares of this world, and to receive you as their precious Savior. In your name, your Lord, Hamas said, we do say, amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah.
on, hallelujah, they don't charge the state for this entire world, hallelujah. Every human being, Yahushua Hama said, he died for every one of us, every nationality of peoples. He died for every one of us, hallelujah. And you know we, should, we all should be serving him and living for him. Because he's the only one that gave up his life. Amen. That we may have life. Amen. Hallelujah. That we may have not just life, but eternal life. Yes. In the kingdom. Yes. With him. Hallelujah. You know that's awesome. Hallelujah. But I give honor this morning. Amen. To the spirit of Yahushua. I'm going to say it. Give honor, amen, to my chief of house, amen, my mother, amen, give honor to my mother that came with me, my sister Hattie, amen, and our viewers that will be viewing us, amen, I give Yahushua Hama said all the glory this morning, I give him all the praises, because I'm telling you, amen, it's a, it's a Baruch, amen, to be here this morning, amen, I tell you, I feel much better today than I felt last night in my body. Hallelujah. I thank and I praise yeah. your whole said, Amen. For how he touched healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, tell him. Hallelujah. Don't feel no way tired. Hallelujah. Don't feel no aches and pain this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Your, your seafood. Amen. We going to uh, Romanly, Roman. Amen. Chapter eight. Roman chapter eight. Hallelujah. Be page sixteen forty three. And you that have your King James version of the Bible, it'll be Roman chapter eight. Hallelujah. I don't know what page, but I do know it's Roman chapter eight. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. You, you that have your seat for again, some of you, amen, will have the same page. It will be page 1643, chapter 8. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Yahushua Hamasaya this morning, thank and praise you this morning for another opportunity all to stand before you and thy peoples all over this world, asking you, Yahushua Hamasaya, to forgive me all of my sins, all of my iniquity. Oh, let this old flesh of mine decrease and you increase. More and more with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word. Oh, your hooch of homicide, say as you continue to judge, chief apostle, ghost, and continue to learn him to be the man, the Elohim, that you're calling for him to be in the last and evil days. Continue to touch my mother, continue to heal and deliver, touch my sisters and brothers, hallelujah, adding all of our children, our views, move you upon this earth. We do say amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank and I praise you. Amen. Romali, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Chapter 8, Roman. Chapter 8 and 1. Read. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Messiah Yahushua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the rock. For the Torah of the rock shines in the Messiah Hamash, in the Messiah Yahushua, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. Amen. We can see here. Amen. That he said, therefore now there is no condemnation to them which are in who the Messiah, Hamas say, who walk not after the flesh, but after the rock, the spirit. Hallelujah. See, we have to walk after we done, amen, done repenting of our sins and being filled with the rock, Kakadash. Amen. We no longer, amen, supposed to be walking after the what? Yeah. The flesh. We are being walking by the what? The spirit of Yahushua. Mm -hmm. We are walking in the spirit of Yahushua. 
I'ma say it. Come on, love him. Yes, Amen. Amen. Verse three. For what was impossible unto the law for the flesh to do, Elohim did and sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. For their sin condemned sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. He said, what was impossible? What was impossible? That we could not live in this old flesh that Elohim sent his son down here in the likeness hallelujah to walk down here in this earth in the flesh but he did not fulfill the loss of the flesh he is our prime example how we shall what? Walk. He has dictated to us how we should walk. Yes. Hallelujah. How we should live. He has dictated to us how we shall live toward. Yes. Come on, look. Yeah. Hallelujah. We shouldn't be having our life after no one else but Yahushua Hamasai. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He is the one that we should be paddling our life after. Yes. And no one else. Hallelujah. Because no one else, hallelujah. No one else, hallelujah, the Elohim sent down. Hallelujah. From Shemal and hallelujah. To die upon that torture state. Hallelujah. And to show us, amen, how to live down here in this earth. No one but his only begotten son. No one else died for our sin. We're supposed to be walking in the likeness of Yahushua on the sin. Not just today on the Shabbat, but every day of our life. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's possible every moment of our life. Come on, look. Yahushua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, he made it possible. Come on, listen. Hallelujah. For what was impossible on the law, the flesh to do. See, it was impossible for us, amen, to live a rock, hakadash life. That's why he said, you see here, Elohim did in sinning his own son in the likening of sinful flesh and for no sinning. Condemned, hallelujah, sin in the flesh. See, he sent his son that knew no sin, that did no sin, did not commit any sin, but he sent him down to show us that it is possible through him that we could live, hallelujah, a rock, hakadash, feel life. Come on, love him. Hallelujah. 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 That's why he sent his only begotten son. So that he could teach us how to live a rock, hakadash life. Hallelujah. Verse 4. That the righteousness of the Torah might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the rock. See? He said, for the, for the righteousness of the Torah might be fulfilled in us. See, we have a duty. We have a job to fulfill. Yes. We have a purpose to fulfill. Yes, we do. He saved us. He filled us with the rock, how can dash? That we may hallelujah, live a righteous life through Torah. Yes. See, when we are called, amen, Kadashlin, cheering our Elohim, hallelujah, we begin, amen, hallelujah, to lay aside, hallelujah, every sin and weight, everything, amen, that we know that, amen, that is called sin, hallelujah, we begin, amen, to let it go, hallelujah, we begin to stop doing this evil and wickedness, hallelujah. Come on, love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That evening, amen. Hallelujah. 
You know, once in, in the past life, when we didn't know any better, we knew, amen, that Christmas, amen, we used to celebrate Christmas when we didn't know any better. We used to celebrate saying that with his birthday, amen, that with your hood, homicide birthday, we would celebrate lives. Amen. And if we had a died, we would have went to that burning hell, amen. saying that we were filled with the rock, hock, and dodge. Would have went to that burning hell. Amen. Even now on Sunday worship, hallelujah, we would have went to that burning hell. Amen. Celebrate Easter's and birthdays, hallelujah. Yeah. Halloween and Thanksgiving, these packing the day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Come on, love. Yo. Yeah, yeah. We want to went to that burning hell. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know people don't want to let go of the chaos of this world. It's oh, it's so hard, it ain't hard. All the time the word become hard, amen, when you don't want to give up. Hallelujah. You don't want to give up the gifts. You don't want to give up the money. Hallelujah. You don't want to give up the clothes. You don't want to give up the toys. Come on, love your who's your homicide. Knowing that Elohim here provide every need. Yes. Hallelujah. May not get everything that you want right now. And some of us will never get everything we want. Hallelujah. But as long as amen, he provides my needs. Hallelujah. I thank him for that. Amen. And if we live right according to Torah, he said, I give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, love him. Yes. But our soul, our soul should be more important to us than anything else in this yes. world. Yes. Yes. Where we're going to spend eternity at. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we just can't come up here and preach the word. We got to live this word. Right. You just can't come to church and hear the word, but you got to live this word. Come on, love yeah. your yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. He said, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that after the rock, the things of the rock. He said, they that are the flesh, they mind the things of the flesh. They don't mind walking in that old man because that's their nature. That's their nature, amen, to obey, amen, Satan and one-third of the angel. Come on, love your hush, your homicide. That's the nature. When you're walking in that old man, when you're walking in this old sinful flesh, Hallelujah. You mind the things of the world. You hooked on the things of the world, the cares of this world. Yes. But when you begin, amen, the hallelujah, when you get filled with the rock, hock, and dash, and when you begin, amen, to study, amen, and learn more about, amen, Torah, and what displeases Elohim, hallelujah, you begin, hallelujah, to mind the things of the rock, the spirit of your whore. Yes, sir. You begin to be more concerned about the things that are pleasing your whore. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whether, amen, whether, amen, husband understand it, whether wife understand it, whether children understand it, hallelujah. Amen. Whether your sisters and brothers understand it, hallelujah. You can't be concerned about what they say, amen, when they are walking in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. You can't give a care about that. Amen. Your soul is at stake. My soul amen. is at stake. Yes. I have to care about the things that Yahuwah tell me to do and not to do. Don't want to be a castaway. Don't want to preach and teach Torah and die and go to that burning hell. Don't want to come to church. You shouldn't want to come to church, hallelujah, just to say I came in the church and I sung in the choir, hallelujah. I beat the drum, hallelujah, and I played the guitar and played the organ. I sat on the bank, I sat in the chair, and then die and go to that burning hell. Hallelujah. That's stupid. They're very stupid to me. Amen. I didn't understand, amen, when I was a sinner, the urgency 
for me to give my life to you. I didn't understand it. But when I got around somebody filled with a rock, hock and dash, and they began to teach me, amen, about repenting, been in church all of my life. Hallelujah. And nobody took the time. To explain about repenting, you got to be saved or you're going to go to that burning hell. I have to learn that, amen, from someone else. Amen. Not in the church that I came in, amen. not in the church that I came out of, not in the church, amen, that I want to reap in. Amen. I heard it from a complete stranger. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Lord, Yahushua. Hallelujah. I thought about coming to church was all right, sitting on the beat, amen. Come to church on Sunday, stay out on Saturday, on the dance floor, hallelujah, or Friday, wherever I can get there on the dance floor or somewhere, amen, on, on my back having sex. Come on, love you, who I'm a saint. I thought that was all right, and then dressing up and coming to church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I thought it was all right. When I seen the deacons, hallelujah, at the same place that I was at. Mm -hmm. When I seen the mothers, amen, at the same place that I was at. Mm -hmm. I thought it was all right. Come on up, Yahushua. Hallelujah. But I found out how wrong I was. The deacons. Yeah. In the church. Drinking. Flooding around. The preacher mm -hmm. floating around in the church, making babies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here I am thinking I'm all right. Come on, Lord, you. Hallelujah. But I thank you, who shall harm us say. Glory. I thank him this day. Yes. That I know better. Thank you, Lord. And that's why I don't mind crying against evil and wickedness. Yes. I don't mind crying out against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I know that them same demons is still running the church yes, somewhere. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. If it ain't them, it's a more demon somewhere. Amen. Up on the same thing. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Yahushua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, For to be carnal minded is death. Yes. See, to be carnal minded is death. A carnal minded person is a sinner. Yes. It's a pretender. He said to be carnal minded is death. Hallelujah. You don't care, you don't care about what your whore say. You go on about your own belief. You go on about, amen, what, amen, the people teaching you. You ain't studying Torah. You don't know, amen, Torah. You just serve it, amen, your whore, homicide, amen, the Jesus that you call in the King James Version Bible in a form and in a fashion. Yes, yes, Lord. You ain't caring nothing about his Torah. You ain't crying out against evil, a sin and evil. You ain't preaching against sin and evil. Amen. You want to preach prosperity. Hallelujah. You want to preach, amen, that grandmama died and she was saved. Hallelujah. And make the people shout all over the church. Oh, yes. flesh. Hallelujah. They wasn't shouting, they were flesh. The preacher know what they meant to get you excited. Uh -huh. Though theologically. Hallelujah. Grandmama prayed for you. And over oh, there you go crying and hollering. And half of them, amen, wasn't even filled with the rock hockey dash. Amen. Come on up, Yahushua. Hallelujah. Some of them didn't even not know Yahuwah in the part that they see. Never went to church, never picked up a Bible. Hallelujah. A lot of them were picking it up and still wasn't living it. And that same spirit upon the earth today. Amen. Come on up, Yahushua. He said, because the carnal mind 
Because the carnal, excuse me, for to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and shalom, life and peace. Mm -hmm. To be spiritual minded, you have life, you have your war leading you and guiding us and to what all truth, not half truth. He is not a half truth Elohim. He all truth. He nothing but the truth. Amen. We cannot serve him. Hallelujah. Obey half of the word. What we see that, amen, obey half a Torah. It says eat the whole road. Yes. It didn't tell us eat half of the word. Eat, eat half of the road. But he told Ezekiel to eat the whole road. He telling us to eat the whole road. Yes. Eat this word. Live this word. Amen. Yes. Ain't nothing in that say eat half of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But people want to serve him half heartily. And your whore is not going to accept being, hallelujah, served half heartedly. Not for me, you, and no one else. Right. Come on, love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, verse 7, because the carnal mind is an enemy against Elohim. Mm -hmm. For it is not subject to the Torah of Elohim. Not indeed can it be. Do you hear? Amen. He said, because the carnal mind is an enemy Amen. against an enemy against Elohim. It hates Elohim. Mm -hmm. It won't obey Elohim. Hallelujah. Now how can you, amen, say you love Elohim? And you have not had him. You have not received him. You don't want to obey him. And he let us know the big carnal mind is an enmity yes. against him. For it is not subject to the Torah or Elohim. It says it's not subject to the word. Yeah. Huh? Can't we see it? All over this world. Yes, amen. It's not subject to the word. Amen. And then listen here. He said, neither indeed can it be. This old flesh cannot be subject to the word. Amen. It got to be what? Born again. Yeah. It got to be made over. Yeah. And the rock, how could that? Yeah. Come on, I love you. I said, this old flesh has to be made over. Hallelujah. This old man has to die. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have to become a new creature. Yeah. Hallelujah. To obey Torah. Yeah. Hallelujah. To eat the whole road. Come on, I love him in this. Thank you. He says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please Elohim. Yes. He said, you that are in the flesh, they that are in the flesh cannot please Elohim. You can't please him in the flesh. You got to be born again. Yes. Hallelujah. You got to be filled with the rock, Hakadosh. Yes. And when you are filled with the rock, Hakadosh, amen, you're going to seek ye first the kingdom of Elohim. And all of his righteousness is going to be added unto you. He's going to give you more if you seek for more. Yes. Come on, love him. Because he first loved it. Oh, people like us. Verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the rock. If so be that the, the rock of Elohim dwell in you, now, if any man has not the, the rock of the Messiah, he is not his. See, when you don't have the spirit, that means the rock. If you don't have the rock of Elohim, he said, you're not his. I don't care how much you're preaching and teaching. I don't care how much you sit on the bench, sit in the chair. Hallelujah. If you don't have the spirit of him, you're not his. Not. Hallelujah. This is Torah. This is the word. Yeah. People. Hallelujah. This ain't something that I made up. Hallelujah. I'm coming from Torah. I'm coming from the word. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Yahoo. Hallelujah. 
It says, if Messiah be in you, the whole body is dead because of sin. But the rock, what, is life because of what? Righteousness. See? He said, if the Messiah be in you, the whole body is dead because of what? Sin. I think I'm reading that right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And if the Messiah be in you, the whole body is dead because of sin. But the rock is life because of what? Righteousness. See, once you amen get filled with the rock, how can die? You become life. Yes. You fill with righteousness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You don't no longer, amen, desire to please this old flesh. To give this old flesh, amen, what it desire, what it want. Hallelujah. You look at, amen, people in a whole different way. Hallelujah. Where you used to be lustful at, hallelujah, you don't look at, amen, you don't look upon men, amen, to lust after men anymore, amen, if you's a woman. And if you's a man, amen, you don't look upon women to lust after them anymore if you're a man. That's right. Come on, love, Yahushua. Hallelujah. Because, amen, if the head, amen, if the top, Amen. It's filled with the rock. How could that? All the rest of our body is filled with the rock. How could that? Yes. Amen. The woman, amen, her body is filled with the rock. How could that? The men's, their body are filled with the rock. How could that? Come on up, Elohim. You no longer, amen, desire, amen, to dress like the world. You no longer, amen, desire to go, amen, to, amen, to clubs and, amen, drinking and partying. Anymore. You no longer, amen, want, amen, that man wife or, or that woman husband anymore or anyone else, amen. Or self, amen, your own. Hallelujah. Amen. And you single, amen, men, amen, saying that you are saved, you ought to be seeking your who, amen, for your wife. And you women, amen, that are saved, you ought to be praying for your who, amen, for your husband. Not going out here, amen, committing, amen, fornication. Come on, love your who. Be praying to him for your spouses. Yeah. Come on, love your who. Hallelujah. And you can't be praying for another man's wife or another woman's husband because that is not the spirit of the rock hockey die. Because another man, amen, hallelujah, put away his wife, amen, or another woman put away her husband, amen, for another man, another woman, hallelujah, you're committing adultery, hallelujah. Yes. And he said, all oh, hallelujah, adulterers will have their part in the lake of fire. Come on, I love you, Husha. Hallelujah. A lot of you putting away your husband, wife, like cat, putting away kittens. Come on, I love you, Husha. Hallelujah. Verse 11. But if the rock or him that raised up Yahushua from the dead, the well in you, he that raised up the Messiah from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by a rock that the well in you. Hallelujah. Yes. See? Once, amen, you get filled with the rock, Hakadash. Hallelujah. You raise up. Hallelujah. The Messiah from the dead on the inside. You raise him up. He come alive in you. What we were once, amen, in past life. A sinner. Serving that old Satan. Hallelujah. Now, amen, we are filled with the rock, rock, and dodge. Hallelujah. Now, is your sure that living died on the inside of our soul? We raise him up from the what? From the dead. We's a new creature. We no longer, hallelujah, desire, amen, this old past life that we once was in. Not if you truly got the rock, I could dodge. 
I'm not going to tell you, amen, that the enemy won't bring some things back to your mind, but we have to rebuke it every time. Because yes. the devil do not stop, amen, coming. But we have to keep on rebuking it. Amen. We have to keep on asking your whole rebuke, Satan. Yes. Amen. Rebuke him for my mind. Yes. Rebuke him for my eyes. Yes. My mouth, my body. My thoughts, my hands, my feet. Hallelujah. My private part. We do Satan Father. Come on yeah. up. Yeah. 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 The devil don't stop, amen. Because amen, you get, amen, you get your wife and you get your husband. The devil ain't gonna stop, amen, trying to, amen, to uh, amen to amen to encourage you, amen, to commit adultery. Ooh, what did you say, woman? I said, just because you get your husband. Of your wife, the devil still don't stop trying to get you to commit adultery. He come after you even more then. Come on, love Yahusha. Because he see that old nature. He know that old nature, hallelujah, wants what it was. And he'll put in your heart, your eyes, and your mind that old man that you used to walk in, you we used to serve. He'll bring that old spirit back to you. But we have to resist that demon. Come on, love, Hallelujah. It's the truth in the high. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. It's the truth in the high. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. So you have to expose that devil. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care who it is, it can be itself. You have to expose that devil. Hallelujah. And then let that devil know that you are not the one that to play with. You're not going to play with your hood. I'm not going to play with your hood. Hallelujah. And I expose that devil. Even if he come to me, I expose him. Yes. I let him know how, hallelujah, you can't have me anymore. I want no part of you. Hallelujah. You weren't good to me when you had me. Hallelujah. And nothing good about the devil. And not one third of the angel. And nothing good about it. They are deceiver. Hallelujah. They know, amen, what Shamal and they know what the kingdom, hallelujah, Elohim is all about. They know what it's like to be up there. And they know that they is not going to get back there. And that's why, the, amen, the devil and one third of the angel is our enemy. Because they don't want us to make it into the kingdom of Elohim. Hallelujah. That's so true. That's so true. He don't want us to make it there. No, he don't. We might got by yesterday without seeing him, but what about today? Hallelujah. Yes. He don't want us to make it into the kingdom. He's not our friend. The devil and one third of the angel is not our friend. They are our enemies. They are human being enemies. I don't care what nationality of people you may be, the devil is your enemy and one third are the angels. Yes. The devil don't love you. And I must tell you this too. When you walking, amen, under the rock pocket dash and in the rock pocket dot, amen, a son of man, a son of woman, but a girl cannot love you. Hallelujah. They want to see you fall. Yeah. They want to see you backslide. Yeah. Hallelujah. They'll do anything, hallelujah, to bring you temptation, to bring temptation to your eye. Because they are the devil. Yeah. The devil do what the devil do. The devil bend their tail over in your face. They don't care if your wife or your husband sitting down. The devil do in and everything. I have seen time women would need bend in front of a man or in front of another woman. Hallelujah. We had that much respect. Women didn't even bend over in front of another woman. You would turn your hand across someone else. You wouldn't be in front of nobody. Amen. And you wouldn't dare. I said you wouldn't dare to be in before no man. Amen. Not real women. Ooh, come on, love you. Hallelujah. Come on, love you. Hallelujah. 
But now these folks are turning their tail up to the air in front of your face. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about in the house of your hood too. You'll catch them bending over like this, like they're doing something. And don't be doing nothing. Come on, love your hood. Hallelujah. See, I don't play with the devil. Amen. I don't play with the devil, nor amen, his demons. Hallelujah. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if his mom, I don't care if his husband, I don't care if his children, I don't care if his sisters or brothers, I don't care who you are. Yes, sir. I don't play with the devil in you. Amen. I don't play with the devil in myself. Yes. Come on, Lord, you're who you Hallelujah. I do not play with him. Don't pity him. You come against these demons. You call these demons out. You're going to be hated for calling these spirits out. People want to kill you, amen, for calling these demons out. But amen, if you die for righteousness and you die for your sure sake, amen, you will live again. Hallelujah. They ain't carrying nothing about your soul. How can the devil carry anything about you? How can the devil, amen, hallelujah, demons carry anything about you? That's what the devil come to do, steal, kill, and to destroy. You're sure come that we may have life and eternal life and have life more abundantly, but you don't want that. You want what the enemy has to offer you. You don't want what your whore has to offer. But you want what the devil has to offer you. See, ain't something wrong with the mind. Yes. Something wrong with the mind because it's a carnal mind. Yes. Carnal mind. Hallelujah. You mind the things of the flesh. You desire the things of the flesh. Not of the things of the spirit. Not of the things of the rock. You want to please this old flesh. I tell people, no matter where you go, you don't have to have a sign on your back saying you're a pastor, a bishop, or saint, or kadashi. People can tell you by your spirit who you are. You have a dress sweeping the floor. That don't mean that, amen, you're a kadashi woman. It don't mean that. we supposed to stay in the dress code. We're supposed to stay in the dress code because your whore do have a dress code for us women. Don't let the devil fool you. Stop letting the devil fool you. Your whore do have a dress code for his women, for his girls. He have a dress code for the men and for the boys. Come on, love your hoosh. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil fool you. Stop letting the devil, amen, hallelujah, steal your inheritance from you. Come on, love him in this hour. Hallelujah. Oh yes, we got a dress code. And your whole army, it is a dress code. It's decent. Yes. Women wear dresses and skirts. Yes. The girls wear dresses and skirts. Yes. The men wear pants. Not shorts, but pants. Yes. Amen. Come on, love you. Hallelujah. This word is right. Yes, it is. All by yourself. Yeah. It don't need no leaning post. It don't need no prop. No. Only thing that it need, amen, for us to obey it. Yes, sir. Obey it. Yes. This is the most important thing to your whole homie said that we obey Torah. Yes. Nothing else matters but we be obedient children. Hallelujah. And we are not being obedient children. We should have them to die and find ourselves in the judgment seat. Amen. We be thrown into that hallelujah, that burning fire. Yes. That lake of fire. Yes. Whether you preachers or deacons or teachers or mothers or whatever, you'll be thrown into that lake of fire. Yes. For not obeying Torah. Mm -hmm. Can preach the word and still go to that burning hell. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say you can preach that word and still go to that burning hell. Hallelujah, yes, kid. What are you going to do? 
plenty already in there and plenty going. Yes. But I pray in the name of Yahushua Hamasi to keep me, preserve my soul from that burning hell. Help me from my heart to obey him. To obey him. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes, help me to obey Yahushua Hamasi. Hallelujah. Keep my soul from going to that burning hell. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Therefore, brother, therefore, brethren, we are debtor not to the what? The flesh. We are not debtor to the flesh when we are spiritual minded. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? I said, when you are spiritual minded, when you are filled with the rock, cock and dash, we are not in debt to our flesh. Hallelujah. But the things of the spirit, the things of righteousness, the things that are just, the things that are true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Therefore, brethren, we are not debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Hallelujah. See, when it says brother, brother it means sister, it means us as a whole. Because in the spirit, there's no male or female. There's no male or female. Amen. He just, he just don't want the men to be saved. Nope. The males to be saved. He wants women, girls to be saved. He wants every human being to be saved. Yes. But if you listen to some of these preachers, he just talking to the men. He just talking to the men. He ain't saying nothing to the women. The women got to hush and not say nothing. Mm -hmm. Go home and ask your husband. How can you ask your husband if they are sinners? Huh? And they don't go to church. They don't read the Bible. They don't pick up the Bible. They don't have no connection with your hood. How are they going to know something about your hood? If I had waited on a husband to tell me something about your hood, I could have been dead Amen. and in that burning hell. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Do you hear me? And many of you are the same way. Amen. Many of you got some preaching and teaching the word and still dead. Come on, love your whore. Hallelujah. Not being an example in the home. Being an abuser. Being user. You don't take your wife as a flow mat. You don't take your husband as a flow mat. Come on, love Yahushua. Hallelujah. Come on, love him in this house. Hallelujah. I'm the man of the house. I wear the pants. Man of the house won't even pay the bills. Won't even bring your family to church. Won't even live right. I'm talking about you some man of the house. You wear the pants. You supposed to wear the pan. Not just on the way out, but the pants take care of his responsibility. The man is supposed to lead his family into the truth. Come on, love you, Husha. Hallelujah. If you're married, you're supposed to lead your family. Not sending them to church. But you're supposed to be there right there with them. Hallelujah! Right there. And then not just being in the church, but living toward. Yes. Come on, love Yahushua. Hallelujah. It's supposed to be living this word. The word ain't being teach. Amen. All the thing, amen, a lot of you preaching about, amen, man is the head, which he is. But he's supposed, he got a head over him too. That's right. Woo! Hallelujah. Man is the head, but he got a head over him. Yes, he That's right. And his head is Yeshua Hamasek. Hallelujah. Whether they receive it or not. Yes. Hallelujah. 
whether you receive it or not. So true, so true, though. You have a head over you. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes, the woman's supposed to come subject to our husband. Yes, we do. And we also got to come subject to Yahushua Hamasad. So you got to come subject to Yahushua Hamasad before you can come subject to your husband. Amen. But a lot of women, man, they'll come subject to their husband and won't even obey Yahushua Hamasad. Because they don't make their husband, they out of God. Yeah. And they out of God is backfiring on them. Come on, look, Yahushua. No, I don't mind if it's backfiring on you. Hallelujah. Come on, look, Yahushua. Come on, love him today. Thank you, Yahushua. Thank you for your word. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye live, but if ye through the rock, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. They say, if we live after the flesh, we're going to die. Mm -hmm. In the flesh. That means if you die in your flesh, you're going to that burning hell. Mm -hmm. If I should have the backslide, which I pray I don't. Amen. And die, I will go to that burning hell. Do you hear me? Yes. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Hallelujah. But if ye through the rock do modify the deed of the body, ye shall live. See, we have to modify. We have to put the death, amen, our own flesh. It has to be put to death. Yes. You gotta kill it. How do we kill it? By repenting. Being godly sorrowful for the evil and the wickedness that our own self had done. And thought about it and looked at it and touched and tasted and hallowed. We put it to death. We repent of our sin. And your hood, amen, will forgive us and we be baptized. Hallelujah. And be filled with the rock. How can die? That's how, amen, we can put, amen, this old flesh to death. Hallelujah. Come on, love, Yahushua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as many, for as many as are led by the rock, Elohim, they are the sons of Elohim. Hallelujah. Do we hear? For as many are led by the rock, by the rock of Elohim, I'm sure. they are the sons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, when you are led, instructed, hallelujah, directed, hallelujah, by Elohim, obedient to Elohim, you are the son of Elohim. Yes. Hallelujah. It's talking about, amen, males and females. Yes. Hallelujah. See, when you are led by the rock, the spirit of the Elohim, you are the son of Elohim. But we have to be led by the spirit of Elohim. Obedient to the spirit of Elohim. Yeah. Instructed. He, he direct our pathway. Yeah. Hallelujah. He lead us. He guide us yeah. into all righteousness. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I said Elohim. Yes. The one that created yes. everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Everybody. Come on, love him. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. For ye have not received the rock or bungee again to fear, but ye have received the rock at more. Whereby we cry out, but Father. Hallelujah. See, once we have the spirit of Yahuwah, we can cry out, our Father. Hallelujah. We can call on him. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever situation that we are in, whatever circumstances, whatever trouble comes our way, we can call upon him. Yes, sir. And he'll come and see about us. 
Amen. When you are led by the Spirit, you are the sons of Elohim. Hallelujah. Come on, love him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like verse 16. The rock is there. Hallelujah. Bear witness without our rock. See, when we have the spirit of Yahuwah, his spirit bear witness of us. His spirit bear witness with our spirit. Hallelujah. And everything that, amen, that Yahuwah detested, our spirit will detest it. Everything that is true with Elohim, whatever he says is true, we're going to say it's true. Yeah. If he says it's a lie, we're going to say it's a lie. Come on, love you. Hallelujah. See, you are led by the rock of Elohim. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. So you bear witness that we are the children of Elohim. And you're children, verse 17. And you're children when they're heir, heirs of Elohim and your heir with the Messiah. If so be that we suffer with him that we may, huh? That we may be also glorified together. See, if we suffer with Elohim, huh? If we hold on to the truth, yes. we be obedient. We gonna glorify with Him. Yes. We gonna be praising, Amen. Elohim with Hallelujah with Yahuwah Hamasai. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. See, you got to be led by the Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. If I had a thought today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. If I had a thought today, if you, if you are led by the Spirit, you are the sons of Elohim. Yes. Hallelujah. You are the peoples of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are the peoples of Him. Yes. You know, on yesterday, Hallelujah. This morning, amen, I was, amen, we're praying and asking you who, amen, for a word. And amen, and he gave me this this morning, amen, and I began to think upon yesterday when I was talking to our son on yesterday. And he brought up, we brought up Mother's Day, and I told him, I said, son, I don't celebrate Mother's Day anymore. I said, because it's a pregnant day. And he said, yes, mama, it is a pregnant day. He said, Christmas or pregnant day? I said, y'all been out of that. I've been brought y'all out of that. He said, Easter. He said, birthdays. He said, all of these are pregnant days. He said, I've been studying the word. Amen. Listen, a sinner. A sinner. All right. I'm talking about our son. A sinner. Don't go to nobody church. Don't go to nobody church. A sinner. Amen. Begin to bear witness. But all of these days are packing the days. Yes. And I begin to tell him, son, you need to get filled with the rock of the dash. Yes. Hallelujah. I said, you need to get filled with the rock of the dash so you can get out here, amen, and be a witness. Hallelujah. Amen. To Torah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I said, hey, sinner. He said, when I got false accused, when I was 15 years old, or stealing your money. He said, I was done with preachers then. That's what he told me. He said, I was done, but you got to forgive them. He said, I did. He said, I don't forgave them. He said, but I was done with them. He said, I was done with them. Because they accused me. I said, but son, I always said, I always told my mother, I said, after I married Chief Apostle Ghost, I told him that you didn't have my money. I said, I always told mother that I fed my money in that house. I said, I could feel it. I told you. And husband, you know, after I married him, he told before me, he said, before, married, yeah, before we got married, he said, he didn't get your money. After I was told that he got my money, husband said, he didn't get your money. He didn't get your money. I kept telling mother. But before anybody told me, I kept telling mother. I went to mother. I said, mother, I said, I was told that Daniel, oh, I was told that my son got the money. I said, but I feel my money in this house. I said, I can feel it. Yeah. Y'all know, three years after Chief Apostle and I got married, 
and we were broke. We were so broke. And I went in that back room. But my daughter used to be in her room. And I had all of my old clothes up in there. All of my old clothes that I didn't wear. Because they was what? Too big? Hallelujah. And I didn't wear them. And one day, Yahuwah told me to go there with, with Jesus at that time. Told me to go in my closet. And I just went in there to obey. He said, check the pockets. And I began just going in and check them old pockets. And I had an old dress. An old dress that I wouldn't even wear. And I found out in there. That is seven hundred dollars in there. In there, the same envelope and everything that the bank gave it to me. In there. In there. Amen. Yes. I shouted and I prayed to her. And I told her husband, I said, I find my money. And I told the one, they said, Oh no, he put it. Back. He didn't put nothing there. No. He wasn't even there. No. Wasn't even living there. He put nothing back. But I always felt that money. Let me tell y'all something. When you have the rock hockey dodge, the spirit of your whore, you can misplace something. Or if somebody gets something, you can feel that somebody don't got it, and you can feel if you don't misplace it. You can't tell me no different. You can tell that somebody don't been in your house that don't have no business in your house. You can tell. I just can tell that's a good one, stranger, that came in my house when, the, when my children and us was at home. When all the children were coming, I was going to tell. You can't tell me you can't tell somebody else in your place. Yeah. You can't tell me. You can tell that somebody took something from you. You can tell it. I don't care what nobody, you can't see it, but you can feel it. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I'll tell anybody. You can't fool me. Hallelujah. You may try. You may get me for a while. But I'm going to tell you, the spirit of your whole homicide, said, he'll bring it to me. It may be a year, maybe two. But he's going to bring it to me. Right at my door. Hallelujah. Thank you, your whole homicide. said. Hallelujah. But when you are led by the spirit, when you are led by the rock, you are the son. Or Elohim. Sons, daughters. We have to be led. That's why, amen, it behooves us. It's necessary. Hallelujah. Amen. Not, amen, not to prophesy in our flesh. Amen. If your hood don't lead us to say nothing, don't say nothing. That's right. Don't say that he said it. Because when we say that your hood said something he didn't say, we tell it lies. Amen. And he said a liar would not tarry in his sight. They say, I believe. And then if we tell them a lie, we believe, that man, that believe is a lie. Then we still can get in trouble amen. with your hood. Don't go around, amen, saying stuff, amen, that your hood did not tell you to say. Don't prophesy in your flesh, amen, because you don't like a person. That's evil, that's wicked, low down and dirty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be led by the rock. Because we can, amen, hurt people. We can call people, children, not to be, amen, not to want to come to church, not to even believe in nobody else. Amen. Do you hear me? And you have blood on your hand. Hallelujah. When you know you don't lie on people. When you know you don't done people's wrong. Yeah. And you never, amen, repent of it. You, amen, you in trouble with your hood. Because he said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Hallelujah. He don't care who we are. I can be a preacher, chief of pastor. Amen. He's a preacher. Hallelujah. But we still not supposed not to touch each other. Hallelujah. Amen. No, we don't. He's not supposed to have amen touch me. No. I'm not supposed to touch him. I'm talking about in the spirit. Yes. He said, touch not my anointing. Mm -hmm. In an abusive way. In, in no abusive way. Touch not my anointing. Not lying, cheating. Touch not my anointing. Stealing, touch not my anointing. The false accuser, touch not my anointing. Hallelujah. The word is talking unto us. You that want to be 
children of the Most High, Elohim. The Word is talking to us today. Be careful how we, amen, teach and preach this Word. And in your flesh, flesh not supposed to be preaching. And not supposed to be teaching. We're supposed to do everything decent and in order. Yes. Come on, love you. Who's your homie? Hallelujah. 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 H